what's good everyone, it's MJO23Dan back with another video and in today's video I have an OG Air Jordan. So to get ready for June 14, 2018, I bring back a classic. Well, Jordan Brand brings back a classic. The sneaker originally released on March 27, 1999 and this is the Air Jordan 14 Last Shot. Colors on the box are black, black, varsity red. Style number is 136016 and color code 001. The shoes are dead stock and back in the day, it was my first year in college, I purchased two of these. One of them I wore, the other one is right here. So the shoe came out in beautiful suede and leather I still have the sticker on the side as you can see. Shank plate. Seven hits of the jump man all around one part of the shoe. Seven on the other one to make 14 if you guys didn't know that already. So starting on the toe you got one. On the lateral you have two. On the rear you have three. On the bottom you have four. On the insole you have five. And then finally on the aglets you have six and seven. It's got a phylon midsole all the way around. These teeth that are supposed to hug your foot right in. That really nice grippy finger outrigger. The plastic non-bendable tongue piece right here. You'll find a bendy piece on all the retros that have come out. And on this particular model, you'll see that the tongue is not extra super long. As you'll notice with all the retros, they're exaggerated. It's a nice lining on the inside here and as far as the aglets are concerned, metal. So there's been two other retros for this model. Back in 2005, I also had that retro. I had beat that one up as well. I think I played a lot of basketball in that shoe. This is a, this is a beast of a basketball shoe here. And then the shoe also released again in 2011. I wasn't fortunate enough to pick those up because I did own the 2005 and I have these OGs. So I was kind of debating whether or not I should pick up the 2018 and I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to do a comparison for you guys once I get that pair. But since I'm working on my website, I think it's going to take some time because I really wanted to concentrate on some, I'm putting out some more of the content on that website. So if you guys actually haven't followed already, www.mjo23dan.com. I'm going to give you a lot of insight and perspectives when it comes to the sneaker culture and overall just like my personal opinions and everything like that. So yeah, this is the Air Jordan 14 and like I stated earlier in the video, you have seven Jumpmans. So if you guys are math majors, you guys know seven on one, seven on the other, making 14. Now that's pretty coincidental, isn't it? It's pretty cool actually. So I'm not sure if Jordan Brand planned that out, but I thought it was just a neat Easter egg to point out. Now I haven't seen the new retro yet. I'll, I'll go ahead and give you my thoughts on that when I have them in hand. But the OG definitely had some nice suede on it. Uh, the other successors to the OG, definitely new buck. Um, nothing the same as it is on the OG. So it's just great materials overall. The 14 is notorious for this paint flaking or this like stickiness on it because they used a different type of paint, actually lead paint. And uh, they had discontinued that because it was toxic, very toxic. So if you guys notice on OG 14s that a lot of the paint on there is peeling off with certain uh, models. This one in particular though, it hasn't felt like it's experiencing that. I can feel a little bit of tackiness. But as far as like the paint being there, it's it's pretty intact. The scoop here, as you know, we like to call it here, it's got like that mesh interior on the medial side of the shoe, just to give the shoe some airflow and breathability. Overall, though, the the shoe is pretty hot to wear, so you're not going to get a lot of airflow, you know, coming into the shoe once you're balling up. But this was a great shoe to ball up in. Um, you know, it, it felt great on court, as I remember. It's been a while since I've been on court. But the 14 is one of my favorites to play basketball in. Raindrops. As far as the shoe's history is concerned, it's designed by Tinker Hatfield, an inspiration taken from Michael's favorite car, which is the Ferrari. So you'll notice some points and details in that. Anyways, guys, if you like the content, please subscribe to the channel. Follow my social networks at Twitter, Instagram and Facebook. 
also visit my website at www.mjo23dan.com and I will talk to you guys later. Take care.